So I'm at Sephora. There's no line. <laughs> I'm here like 30 minutes early because I thought there was going to be a lot of people, but there aren't. I think they're setting up inside. I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm here. I'm waiting in the car and guess who I see staring at me? Hey, Rihanna girl. <laughs> He's like, no. How you doing? Hey. I almost didn't recognize you. Check her out. Yay! I'm excited. Now we're on our way home, guys. So, hey guys, I am so excited. Today, I just left Sephora, boom, and I got a lot of stuff from Fenty Beauty, which is the makeup line by Rihanna. So, I, I told you guys that it wasn't anybody there like 30 minutes before, but then it ended up getting more and more people. So, I think it ended up being like 10 or 11 of us all trying to get Fenty Beauty, and it was so fun. Like, believe it or not, it was fun. That really made me happy. <laughs> like, everybody wanted to get the makeup. It was just it was fun so I'm going to be testing out all of the makeup that I got in this video so just keep on watching keep on watching so let's kind of run through really quickly everything that I got I got the pro filter primer the pro filter foundation one of the match sticks this is the matte one not the shimmer one in the shade Coco. the gloss balm in the shade Fenty glow the kilowatt highlighter duo in the shade Moscow mule and and ginger binge and the kilowatt highlighter in the shade trophy wipe so I'm excited the very first thing I'm going to start off with is the primer now you guys know primers scare me because they usually break me out this packaging kind of looks like the KKW it's like that soft pink matte kind of feel so the KKW kind of looks like this I'm just shaking it up you get 1.08 fluid ounces in this which is a good amount so it's a soft pink color so I'm just gonna rub it in and what is it supposed to do a smooth pour diffusing finish and it extends the makeup wear so we'll see hopefully I don't break out so far my pores look the same it may just help like the foundation lay smoother on top of it so we'll see once I apply the foundation so the foundation I got it in the shade 370 I did swatch it in store like on my neck and stuff and it is just a tad bit warm but 360 was the wrong undertone it was a neutral olive undertone and this one is a warm undertone so I just decided to get this one because I was asking people in there see that was another thing that was fun was that everybody was helping each other out and I love that <laughs> so they were telling me that this one looks better than the other one because the other the 360 one had me looking a little bit gray so I got 370 I'm gonna shake this up too it says shake well and so what this foundation is, is a medium to full coverage for all they have 40 different shades which is awesome that's almost like makeup forever shade range and makeup forever is the best when it comes to the shade range so I'm really excited about this and I hope she does really well as far as the product quality I'll be testing it today and it's supposed to be long wear and light as air so a lightweight finish I don't actually know how I'm supposed to apply it like if she recommends a sponge or a brush so I'm just going to use the Sigma sponge and I'm going to get my mirror and just apply this directly on my face so it is liquidy look at this it's about to drop and it is a little bit light, but what they were tell what the Sephora employees were actually telling me was that this foundation oxidizes. So when I was even trying it, I noticed that it was oxidizing too. So I mean, it looks a little bit not my skin tone, just a little bit, but it's gonna oxidize. So hopefully, it doesn't oxidize too much. So far, I'm digging it. It does have a slight smell, like a slight vanilla scent. It smells good. It's very slight though. So I like that. It doesn't overpower you. I feel like I'm beating my face. <laughs> I guess that's where the term beat face comes from. I don't know. So it's looking really good so far. Another thing that I want to point out is both the foundation and the primer are both water-based, which seems like somebody was really paying attention because that's how you're supposed to do it. If you have a foundation that's oil-based, then you use a oil-based primer. So the fact that they have a water-based foundation and a water-based primer is 
awesome. Seemed like they kind of did their research. Now, I don't know if I, I didn't bring this up, but the packaging for the foundation is similar to the primer. Only the primer has like that matte soft pink top to it. And this one has a white top. Okay, what are we gonna use next? So I just want to add a little bit of concealer, but the concealer isn't by Rihanna. So I'm gonna just speed this up. So just looking up close just then, my forehead looks so smooth. It's kind of hard to see now that I have on concealer, but my forehead looks so smooth. And like my face in general, the foundation has clung to my little mustache a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. And then my face just looks really smooth to me. I don't know if that's the primer or if that's the foundation, but both of them together, I think it's cool. So I went ahead and set the concealer just very lightly because I didn't want it to move or anything. But now I'm going to go in with the contour stick that I got. And the packaging is so cute. It's like this, what is it, hexagon? And it's a matte, it's a soft container. So it looks like this, it's the match stick. I got it in the shade Coco, like I said. Now the product amount you get in here is 0.25 ounces. And the foundation and the primer, they both have the same amount of product, so the 1.08 fluid ounces. So I'm just going to add this to my contour area. And of course I went for a warm shade because I don't really like great contours on my skin tone, so. I'm happy. I'm happy already because <laughs> this is like right up my alley with shades I like to bronze or contour with or whatever. I'm just going to blend that in. So, so far the quality of these products perform just like other high-end makeup brands that you would buy in Sephora. I like it. I never actually thought of Rihanna as a makeup person. I thought of her as like a fierce fashion person. So the fact that she like kind of shocked the world with coming out with a makeup brand and it's actually good quality i am so happy i love this okay love this i love the shade the foundation looks good my face looks smooth like look at this i look smooth you can't fake this <laughs> this is the real deal thank you rihanna girl Girl, you better do it. Now, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I guess I really don't have that much left. I'm gonna go in with the Trophy Wife Highlighter, which according to the website, this is Rihanna's favorite. Well, this is one of her favorites. And it has that same like hexagon or octagon kind of shape to it. And then it just says Trophy Wife on the back and it's 0.28 ounces. <gasps> So pretty. Look at that. I mean, it's just so pretty. Let me swatch it. Look at that. So pretty. Let's see. It does have a lot of glitter in it though. So if you don't like glitter highlights, you may not like this. Oh, that is everything. Oh, that is so intense. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I was not expecting that. My cheeks are like gold. That's kind of like not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm about to try to blend it out though. Every time I put my brush in it, it's so intense. Like what? Rihanna! Girl, you weren't playing, was you? Let me blend that out a little bit. Cause I don't really want to be gold like that, man. I really like this. I'm really loving everything so far. Like even though it's bright and I, you know, it's gold, even though I'm still digging it. And the pigmentation, cause you know, this that's our favorite word. <laughs> it's so pigmented, that's our favorite thing to say. But it really is, it's pigmented. Now what? I wanna do my brows off camera, so I'll be right back. So I'm so glittery. I probably should not have put that on my, my mustache. <laughs> But I did. But anyway, I'm really liking everything. So I'm gonna put some brown shadows in my crease. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use as the eyeshadow. The shimmer on the lid, rather. So. 
So with using this second highlighter duo, this one has two like gorgeous pink shades. So I'm going to use the more shimmery one on my eyelid is eyeshadow. I got that trick from one of the girls at Sephora too. That is so pretty. <laughs> Man, look at that. That is just too pretty. Go Rihanna, go Rihanna, go Rihanna. Hey. And then Ginger Binge. This is what I'm going to use as my blush. I'm just applying a little bit of bronzer to kind of set that cream, make sure it doesn't run off, <laughs> which I don't think it is, but you know. <laughs> Everything is popping. Like, look at my face. So the very last product is the lip, and this is the lip gloss. It's in the shade Fenty Glow. And this is the first thing that I saw when they started doing the sneak peeks, the lip gloss, so I'm excited to try this out. So I'm just gonna line my lips with MAC Chestnut. This is pretty. It smell like, <laughs> it actually smells like, um, like the lip gloss you used to get from Lip Smackers. <laughs> so it smell like, look at my lips, they're popping. It's that my lip gloss is cool, my lip gloss be popping. I'm saving that my locker and all the boys keep stopping. I think I might've put on too much, but hey, can you put on too much lip gloss? I think not. Man, look at this flawless. Lawless. So I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara and lashes and then we'll be done. Mm, 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 mm. Rihanna, you killed it. <laughs> I am popping because of you. These are your products. Man, if you guys are on the fence on getting anything, this collection, well, I guess I shouldn't say collection, this whole entire brand that she's created was not half done. Everything that I put on my face today, I love. There's nothing that I don't like. Now I can give you guys one thing out of everything that I use that if you're not into it, then you might want to pass on it but that's just preference it's not the quality of the product and that would just be the gold highlight because if you're more of an everyday kind of glam wearer you may not want to go for a gold highlight every day but the quality of it is not average this stuff is high quality and i'm so proud <laughs> that rihanna created something so great she's really branching out into something bigger than just a musician she's in movies now she's creating brands and it's not half done and I appreciate that for this makeup because makeup is my thing so I appreciate a celebrity coming out with a high quality brand and not half doing it just to make money so thank you so much Rihanna if you were thinking about getting something make sure you get something before they sell out if not anything else try out the foundation try out the highlighter try out the lip gloss this lip gloss is everything my eyeshadow is popping which is really not eyeshadow it's a highlighter so you can use this same thing for a pink highlight if you want a little bit of a pink highlight or you could put it on your eyes for eyeshadow I love everything and I'm so happy so let me know your thoughts please start the conversation down in the comments let me know your thoughts on the products let me know if you tried it let me know what you think let me know what you don't like let me know what you do like I want to know everything anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video I'm happy I'm happy. <laughs> Make sure that you subscribe as well as watch my latest video and I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.